Welcome to Game. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Live. Uh, yes, I am back after uh, the last couple days of travel towards the end of last week. Um, and I am back on the couch, ready to continue our little virtual reality adventures through the wonderful history of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, in case you missed any of the previous streams, uh, we also did a GT Not Live uh, right before I left. Uh, those are all available here on the channel in the video archive, so go check them out. Uh, we made a lot of progress in a, in a very short amount of time, which I was really happy with. Um, burned through all the parts and services, repairing all the animatronics pretty quickly. Burned through, a, you know, little bits and pieces of all the other mini games. There's a couple that have been a little bit of sticking points for us, so hopefully we'll be able to kind of work our way through them today. But, uh, yeah, this is it. The game officially released, I believe it was yesterday. Um, yesterday, or if not, like, first thing this morning. So it is available for everyone to play now, which is really exciting. Uh, I think that means that the, our game itself updated this morning with whatever new patches and uploads and uh, fixes and whatever is in the final version of the game. So now we are working with like the complete thing ready to go in whatever its most recent final edition is. So I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know, Chris, when you turned it on, uh, did the updates mean that we lost any of our progress? I super duper hope not. I don't think so. You didn't check, did you? Uh, well, Jason set up the game while I was checking out some playthroughs. Of well, the we're, we're going to find out together then. Our, it's going to be a pleasant little surprise when all of our progress has been... All right, we'll speed run. Game's done quick. Actually, it's interesting. Uh, Games Done Quick has never featured Five Nights at Freddy's games because it's a difficult game to speed run because so much of it is based on RNG. And also, since it is like fixed... Are, are, you, are you guys enjoying yourself while I'm talking over? What's, what's going on? What are you talking about? Did, did you check the game? Did we lose progress? So I didn't check the game. I saw the No game. one checks the game! Wait, wait, wait. The game started. I moved around a little bit. Freddy followed me with his eyes. So did Chica and the cupcake. I assume that we're good to go. Yep. Great. Well, there, there was an update today. I need, I need my, yeah, I know. I was talking about the update. I need, I need my emotional Diet Coke after talking with Jason and Chris. I'm sure it's fine. We're, we're going to sure find out together that we've lost all our progress. Did mm. you make any? And then, yes, we made a ton of progress. <laughs> I was just telling them how we were flying through the game last week. Darn it. So anyway, um, like I was saying, uh, we're in the final version of it, which is exciting. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll see. It, it, it's funny. I look out online and I see just people with stockpiles of videos just up. They're like, here's four videos a day on Five Nights at Freddy's VR. This is like crazy uh, how fast people are, are churning out stuff for any Five Nights game. Um, we're taking a little bit more leisurely pace to it, uh, partly because we just do things via live stream. So bear with me if I struggle with some of this stuff. Uh, I will do my best. And I've been trying to stay blind to a lot of the surprises and stuff that the game has in store. So I haven't played it any time off camera than, you know, outside of the stuff that we posted for you. Uh, so we're all experiencing this together, which is really exciting. So anyway, uh, that's it. I'm going to hop in here in a second. Uh, hashtag GT Live on Twitter. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be in VR land, but Chris is on Twitter. Hello. He is there, and he'll be calling you guys out where he drew a toy Bonnie. We'll probably be hopping into FNAF 2 for a little bit today. Uh, I'm going to hopefully get through a couple more of the dark rooms. Um, I'd like to try Night Terrors again and see how that goes. Uh, well, also, if you want to engage, the chat is always a welcome place for you to go and hopefully get seen amongst the myriad of comments that are coming our way uh, to let me know things like, you idiot, you missed the tape at the beginning of the game, which I did not, but that was part of Partly you missed you missed it because it was lagging during that time, but during the roller coaster I grabbed it. Um, or so anyway, there you things go. like Mafia Cat who says, "Spoiler, spooks abound." Ah, oh, you ruined it! Fuck! I thought that this was gonna be a non-spooky FNAF game. <laughs> Darn it! Well, thanks for disabusing me of that mistaken belief, my friends. So let's hop into it. Let's you know take a big heaping bite out of our butter for one, our disappointment chips. And uh, let's hopefully unlock some secret lore, shall we? 
So let me hop into the game. Let's load up. It's interesting that, uh, let's see, is this left? I always forget. I always have to remember. Yeah, it's, that was the right. Um, it's interesting to me that everyone who was playing the game early, everyone was playing it off of Oculus, even though the thing that, and I, you know, I like Oculus a lot just as a platform, uh, but it's interesting that it was uh, everyone doing Oculus rather than PSVR, which is what I initially thought it was going to be only out exclusively on. So uh, Oculus, man, making, making good progress. And I'm excited, too, because I got my Oculus Quest uh, in the mail over the weekend while I was gone. Um, so I'm, I don't know if this is, works on Oculus Quest or not, but I'm excited to find out. Because now I could, that would mean I could take all the fun and scares of Freddy's out in public or wherever I want to go, which I'm sure is a great decision. Um, here we go. Let's continue and see how much progress we have maintained or lost. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wean us out. It looks like our, our little friend over there isn't here, but we got our nine coins. We got our nine coins. Oh man, we got all our knights, it seems like. Parts and services entered. Night terrors. Oh boy. Great, it looks like we got everything, right? Yep, all our vents. All the this stuff that we haven't unlocked yet. All the parts and services that were done. Let's see if we got all our tape still. Yes, okay, we've got everything, great. So we are starting exactly where we left off, uh, where I left off last week. Um, Last week I was doing a little bit of uh, filming slash secret project with uh, a certain famous Five Nights at Freddy's player himself who uh, I might have let know was like, hey, Five Nights at Freddy's, the new one's coming out. And he's like, wait, really? I'm like, yeah, you might want to make a video about it. Lo and behold, a day later, videos started to appear. Wow. I like to think that I had a small hand in that. Yeah. Just doing, doing a quality service for the FNAF community. Doing your civic duties. Right, do, doing my duty. Uh, let's do... I died a couple times at Plush Baby. I died a couple times with Night Terrors. I, I really want to try to get through some, the last of these dark rooms. So I'm going to start here. This one's pretty intense. Uh, this was definitely one of the scarier ones. Um, it's, everyone was asking me, I saw in the comments, like, oh, what's underneath the table? Is there a secret code under the table? There does not appear to be a secret code under the table. It is just a random texture, though. Really? That's so odd. It's not a button or anything. I wonder if it's supposed to be like, this is what this button in the table is connected to. It's not like Morse code or anything, either. Huh. Weird. That's odd. It's just an odd, random little detail there. Uh, so there you go. Now with the new update, I'm more paranoid than ever that there's like something hidden in here, but there doesn't appear to be. So let's start it up, shall we? At Athena underscore Jade underscore says, hashtag GT Live actually made a love one this time. Yeet. I believe she meant live, but I liked it. You know what? If we, if we made you a loved one in life, I'm cool with that too. I, I, would, be, I would be happy to have been the matchmaker who helped you find love in, in your life, my friend. Like, hey, matchmaker, mat call me Yentl, because <laughs> I am here. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. I found you a found. I find. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> I, I, oh, there you go. You heard my call. Uh, just maybe scrap baby, baby, baby plush. Wants me to find her a find, catch her a catch. I just want to get rid of her so she doesn't jump scare me. That'd be cool. Oh, my flashlight's getting low. Oh, there we go. Get out of here. Get thee gone. I guess Get... you forgot about me. No, I didn't. I'm. It's just really dark, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. So the lines seem to be clear indicators of, like, you about to die, son. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, I don't know where she was. Shoot. Let's try again. <laughs> so just be ready for jump scares when you start hearing them talk. Fair warning, friends. Okay, there she is right there. Okay, ba ba ba. Oop, hey. Get out of here. Uh, right, how can I forget about you, baby? You're so weird and creepy. 
man, I got I got to hand it to you, Scott. Well done on the merch push via this game. <laughs> like, hey, we're gonna introduce a new plushie for every character who had who didn't have a plushie, and then some. <laughs> Just oh no, where where are you? I heard you. Where are you? I'm missing a hiding spot or something. You there, there's you. I got you. Was that? No, there's one. Get out of here. Okay, good. Charge, charge, charge. Come on, charge. Oh, damn. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, poop. But, like. Ah, uh, poop. Hey. Hey, you got a cup. You won't die. Oh, I bet I'm gonna get jump scared, though. Shoot! Nope! This is hard. This one's really hard. She you're... blends in so well with the other toys. Right? She really does blend in really well. The the flashlight loses power real fast. So you have to go super fast on that one. What if I don't flash the light on him? I'm curious. Huh. Cool, so th that actually, so by not flashing the light on him, that actually saves me, that actually saves me a decent amount of, like, time at the beginning. Whereas before, I was kind of starting him off, go, a little bit early, earlier than I had to. So that's good to know. But yeah, anyway, so it's one of those things where, like, even if these characters already had existing plushies, man, this game, Giving them even more opportunities to plush. Hey, didn't I? You won't die. Oh my gosh, what the? Where am I missing you? Where? Shh. I'm clearly missing like a hiding spot or something, right? I'm not. Well, that last one you got, was it like in time? I think it was. Okay. Huh. Shoot. All right. Let me try a couple more times. If not, I'll move on to something else so we can make decent progress. I wonder if there's like one up there? Weird. But yeah, between like all the new plushies, all the new action figures, and then also to have like disappointment chips and like chocolate bars themed after the characters, like, there's a lot of stuff that Scott can now merchandise. Not that he wasn't already crushing it in that department already. There, oh, come on, you was right there! Don't teleport away, I found you, girl! Shoot. So she was there, oh, hey, oop. Okay, so, oh! All right, yeah, 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 all right, thanks. I stepped out of bounds for a second and I lost the room, so that was my bad. One more time. Shoot, this one's hard. This is rough. I don't know. After this, would I really want to purchase a, a plush baby doll to snuggle with? Like, you too can relive all the night terrors that this creepy doll caused you in this horror game. That's fine. Remember that doll that scooped a little girl to death and just extruded her body like ice cream? Yeah, that's... That's what I want sleeping next to me at night. God. That's totally not gonna, f God, where am I? Okay, I'm gonna just keep the flashlight on because I keep missing them. Where are, th I hear them, I hear ya. Where ya at, friends? Want to see the scooping? I, I want to see you in my face right now because you're about to jump scare me. It's fine, <laughs> great. Where were you? Where were you hiding? Darn, I am just garbage at this one. The first time, it, it's, it's so weird. We should do a theory on the, the concept of beginner's luck in video games. Because the first time we did this minigame, we got to like four. And then ever since, it's just been like... Just like snuggling you very closely, baby. That's fine. Just, just want to snuggle. Here, I'm gonna start this. Because ever since I've been waiting for them to spawn, it's actually been doing a lot worse.
What if I do more strobey? Oh, hey. Okay, that's one. This seems to be preserving my battery life a lot more effectively, actually. This. Maybe they're appearing at the ceiling towards the end. There is a tweet from at Neoculture with two X's instead of that first U who says, Matt, check the ceiling. So I wonder if maybe there's like a late appearance there. Oh wait, there's one. This, you know, this strobe is actually working a lot better for battery conservation now. Two, oh, one. got her. That should have been it. Come on. Come on. Did I get him? Was that the one that was going to jump? Shoot, 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 shoot. shoot. Where's she at? Shoot. Oh, there she is. Shoot. Uh, I'm done. Yeah. I saw her, though. So that was better. That was better. I think the difference here is if you're strobing it, you're able to preserve the battery better because I have a feeling like the battery life is, is not just consistent holding, but also the scanning. Uh, so if you're doing it in short little like second bursts that aren't moving and are stationary, you're actually not giving the battery time to decharge. So, okay, here we go. I feel better now that I have a better sense of like, hey, good for us. We made it much deeper into the night that time. I just need to be really, there you go. I just need to be super conscientious. Okay. So it's here. A lot on that shelf, a lot up there. It's also one of those things where... I shoot. guess you forgot about me. No, I did not! I did not! Oh, damn it. Where were you? Maybe they are on the ceiling. It's weird. <sighs> okay, here. We're gonna take a break from this one. Damn it. Because I want to make progress on the stream. It's just... That was not... <laughs> Welcome to the live stream, where today we're just gonna get brutalized over... I know, right? Oh. <laughs> I'll trade you. I'll stand there creepily, and you can hunt for scary little stuffed animals. I would totally be okay with that, you, you weirdo. I didn't realize before how, uh, you got, you got some good thighs. He's got some strong, meaty thighs there for a rabbit. Good job, man. Yeah. Hey, plus, do it. someone did not skip leg day, and that someone is glitch, glitch rabbit over here. Here's the other one that was giving me trouble, so let's start off today's live stream with all the games that are giving me the frustration. Um... The other problem with this one was I didn't quite get the mechanics. So we'll see. I had Chris look up how to beat this one in the event that I am also struggling with this one as well. So, so if worse comes to worse, we can always call on Chris. So there's Bon, Bon Bon over there. I'm taking, I'm taking up this strategy of look down the hallways, because here's the thing. Oh, God! So he's not there. So I'm assuming he's going to be... Nope, he's not there. I'm assuming I will see it. Okay. Okay, so I scared him away. So there... What? Hey, buddy. So I saw him, and I scared him away. That was cool, right? That worked well. That's Bon, Bon, Bon. Bon Bon's kind of obnoxious. Go, 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 go. Boo, boo scary, boo. Let's stare at each other, shall we? <laughs> cool, well, no, where, where'd you go? Oh. My, my flashlight disappeared. Oh, no, he's, he's still hanging out, that's, that's, that's cool now. <laughs> We're having a scaring, staring contest. Great. I will stare here all day, too. Last one to blink loses. Gets jump scared. I'm telling you, I've got a really intense jump scare, my friend. Get out of here. Here's the thing, buddy. Fair warning. 
You won't be able to tell if I blink because I have a visor on my face. It's like a superpower. I'm like the Cyclops of staring contests. Great. You do you. <laughs> hmm. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm not breaking I'm not breaking stride here, man. <laughs> oh, oh, I heard I heard uh, Bonnet over there. But you know what? I'm not gonna deal with her because as long as I, this is the guy who can kill me, right? It seems like Bon Bon can't. Bonnet is a mild irritation at best. Just me versus Funtime Freddy in a stare down to death. <laughs> it, it's like 4 a.m. at this point. Think about the logistics of this. I've been engaging with a staring contest with a possessed robot out to kill me for four hours straight. My eyeballs have got to be so dry at this point. Someone get me some eye drops at the end of this thing. Go, get out of here. Here it is. Come on. <laughs> I like that the two of us are like both too scared to move at this point. It seems, yeah, it seems like he's also just scared of you. Right? The two of us are literally just like, who's gonna move first? <laughs> he's like, what's that human peeking out of the door down the hallway? I hope it doesn't jump. Are you kidding me? Oh Is that what God. I had to do? <laughs> Yay! I totally earned that victory. I <laughs> pat on the back for me. <laughs> <laughs> Staring contest to the death. Oh yeah, little bobblehead coming to a party city or target kids section near you. Do 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 do. My name is Freddy and I'm here to stay. I don't play a big role in my games anyway. It's really odd the franchise is named after me, even though every other animatronic's more important. Right? Is that weird to anyone else? Uh, yeah, no, you can, that was pretty weird. Isn't it strange? Like, every other character matter. Like, Golden Freddy, one of the most important. Puppet, one of the most important. Even Chica from Ultimate Custom Night, we know, was, like, the first one to have a human stuffed the into her. The Fazbear Virtual Experience is a robust title, but it almost never made it to market. The first development team had a lot of problems, made some sloppy mistakes, and was eventually pulled from the project. For that reason, we recommend that you avoid any comments, notes, or warnings that may have been left behind by previous development teams. We assure you that they are wholly untrustworthy. Yep, you are... I totally believe that. I totally am on board with that one. Uh, something tells me you might be misleading me there, voice. Ah, Nightmare On! Not canon, guys. Come on, VR developers. Know your canonicity of the Five Nights lore. Um... <laughs> But yeah, Fr Freddy Fazbear, man, the least important of the anime. Like, Bonnie is like, I'm the suit, or a version of me was the suit that killed a bunch of kids. Golden Freddy's like, I'm the ghost character. Chica's like, I was the first one, and I get a lot of creepy fan art made of me. Freddy's just there, <laughs> just doing his thing. We're like, doo doo doo, I'm here. I'm like awkwardly the third one who was stuffed with a kid, whatever. <laughs> Great. My name's on the title of the restaurant, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. He's, Freddy's the, you know, he's the Seinfeld. He's the Seinfeld of the, yes! That's a, <laughs> he's, the, he's the normal animatronic. He's like, what's the deal with our crampy pizza? <laughs> I mean, the kids love it, but for some reason, it is just garbage. Uh, closed door is grab and release of trigger, flashlight, teleport. Okay, so it sounds like it's largely the same. Night Marion! Getting French. French with the Marion. Oh, okay. Whoa! Woo! Hey! That's weird and creepy. Okay, so we're in a... Oh, hello. I'm assuming this is a similar... Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna follow the same tactic right here that this worked. Oh, hey, hey. hey where's my flashlight? Flashlight! Flashlight! Flash, flat, flashlight. Hey. Uh, what? Whoa, okay. Hey, hey, hi. Oh, wait. Flashlight is fading in and out. Hard. Oh, God damn show. Okay, hi, 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 hey, hi. Oh, oh. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> for being non-canon, 
Uh, Nightmareon has a uh, strong jump scare there. <laughs> Whoo! So he's got little tentacles that, uh, or she, I guess, has little tentacles that come out from underneath the bed. So that's cool. Uh, <laughs> great. And then uh, is also hiding at the doors. So don't flash her in the face, apparently, is the moral of that story. Uh-huh. Okay, so... But it seems like I... Okay. Okay. So... Okay. Uh... Okay, I hear, I hear it coming. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. Huh! Okay, okay. Oh, jeez! Holy... Okay, haha. -ha. Okay. Can I... My flashlight just disappears completely, which is weird. I'd love to get control. <laughs> weird. Were you seeing nothing, Chris? I was also seeing nothing. Okay. I wonder if that's. I wonder if that's a glitch. Like you can't flashlight and hold the door at the same time. Huh. Okay. Weird. So you can see her eyes coming down the hallway, which is good. That is a, I guess, a positive development to know. Uh, you, and you can definitely hear, okay, nothing coming down there, probably on this side then. Okay, nope, nothing down there either. Where are you at? Oh, geez, you can come out of the closet too, hi. Shoot, shoot, there's a, okay, close, close. Does it, okay. All right, I guess I just got shut in. I don't have any indication of when it leaves. That's super cool. Get out of here! <sighs> hmm. <laughs> uh, Nightmareon, you are a weird conglomeration of octopus and mime. Kids, but I'm trapped in a box. <laughs> uh, what is octopus trapped in a box? Is that, is that what you're going for? Okay. So it's so it seems like it's a combination of watch the doors and watch the tentacles. Okay, go. Okay, coming this way. So uh, nope. Are you done? Okay, okay, so, hey, 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 get, get back. Whoa, oh my gosh! There's no sound cue to indicate, so, okay, what I've learned is that when the door is shut, I can't use the flashlight, right? That's why everything's dark. But at the same time, you have the tentacles coming in, which is lame, uh, and I, to my knowledge, I'm not getting any, I'm not hearing any sound cues to tell me that he's switched, or she's switched sides. So, we're learning. We're, we're figuring it out, slowly, maybe. <laughs> Once we get the mechanics down, it'll be okay. Spencer Bader says he is mad at you for calling him non-canon. Uh, not, that's, that's not me, my friends. Huh. That, that is Scotty C himself. That's coming from the, the man himself. Okay, so he's coming down, yeah. right? So he's coming down. I'm assuming, okay, shut it. Okay, good. So, you're not coming down that way, so let's switch sides. Not coming that way. My flashlight's going, which makes me indicate like, that must be a, yo, yep, yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh. Maybe that's the sound of, okay. Oh God, God, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Shoot, so. Am I supposed to hold it until I get a, a voice cue? Oh, I'm so ready to I'm so ready to go. Come on. Come on, Mimey Octopus slash possessed spirit of dead child girl that's non-canon to the lore. You have so many things wrapped up inside of you, friend. Okay. Cause on what because I'm really concerned about these octopus tentacles that continue to grow while I'm dealing with your shiny-eyed face. 
Come on. Okay. Nope, not there. Nope, no, nope, nope, nope. Where, where, where? What? What? Why is it dark all of a sudden? Stop it! Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Because I, I, I guess I missed him on the first side. No, yep. Go, shot. Are you gone? Are you gone? Are you gone? No. I did something wrong. I'm dead. Sorry, friends. Hate to break it to you. Oh, wait, maybe not. I, <laughs> oh, okay. It, it opened the door for me. That's cool and all. Switch. Where are you coming? Where are you coming? Get out of here. Get out of here. Switch. Okay, hey. Nope. I, I know. It's only like 2 in the morning at this point, which kind of sucks. <laughs> so you're totally right. I have four hours worth of nightmare, actually. Nightmare on, that is. <laughs> uh, shut. Shut. I'm assuming that meant you're gone? You gone? We good? We all good here? Great. Great. Get the gone. Okay. So it seems like my flashlight flashes when she, he starts coming, right? That's what I'm getting out of this right now. So. No, nope. where are you at? Okay, okay, so now the appro- Oh, come on! Where were you? I can't run so fun. <laughs> I felt like I had a handle on it. Oh, poop on a Brit. These are hard, man. We were flying through some of the early ones, and now, like, it's gotten really tough. Um, here, let me take a break from that one. These are intense. <sighs> These are also, like, some of the most visceral jump scares. I know, I know. I know, you're really excited to come hang out with me. I'm excited to hang out with you too. Oh, apparently, Jackie K in the chat tells us there is a button on the side of the main computer, which I assume is this computer. Yes. It's big and red. And there is indeed. Thing, or it maybe turns red. Ooh. It has stayed, it, now it stays red, but it is not doing a whole heck of a lot. Uh oh. Oh, huh, and you can unclick it, and there's nothing on that side. Weird. Anything around the back? Nope. Nope. What if we, what if we switch to Nightmare? You still hanging out? Is this button still here? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Showtime! Showtime! Great. All right. Showtime. Still nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Um, let's hop into FNAF 2. We gotta, we gotta make progress on the, the main FNAF nights eventually. So, and I, and I feel pretty good. Famous last words, right? I feel pretty good about my ability to get through these, right? Because, you know, I think it seems like a lot of the old tactics that worked for the original FNAF games seem to work for this one. Where it's, you know... Hey, watch uh, Foxy on camera as your primary camera in FNAF 1 with periodic check-ins for Freddy in, in, uh, in FNAF 1, um, waiting until the last minute to shut the doors there. Uh, FNAF 2 is very much about just the two vents and flashing the light in the middle while keeping the, the thing wound up. And then there are like those certain kind of catch points for spring trap in FNAF 3. So those I feel actually pretty good about in general. And it's just going to ultimately boil down to you know, execution of those, ultimately. I do. I mean, let's not let's not judge. Let's not judge by smell or look. Okay, phone guy Scott Cawthon. Surprise! I bet they do. Me too. I, I've seen him. 
Many a time. Let me guess, flash my light on him. Yep. I like I like that he says that, except that was never a mechanic in the original FNAF 1. <laughs> like, oh yeah, this is totally a thing that existed back then. If only. The lies. Right? Stop peddling your lies, phone guy! Really? Puppet Thing's like my favorite. I gotta disagree. It can go anywhere. Apparently it also becomes a, a mime octopus later in life, you know. So, reach for your dreams, am I right? Dress for the job that you want, not the job that you have. You know what? I'm sick of being a, a, a spirit trying to save the souls of my dead friends. I'm going to become a mime when I grow up. Hi. Uh, hi. Is that Balloon Boy? Are you... Are you hanging out here, Balloon Boy? Hi. I, I, I hear things. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, are you gonna come up at me or are you just walking away at this point? You just, okay. That was, that was fun. Good on you. Good on you, Chica. You do you. <laughs> just fade off into the distance. Freddy. And, oh, we got, oh man. We've got ourselves a little animatronic. Oh, hi there. Got ourselves a little animatronic parade, don't we? Boop, boop. Oh, hello. That's Foxy. Okay, hi. You just hang out there. You have one more phase before you jump scare me, if I remember correctly. Uh huh. Cool. 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 We need. Yep. Okay. Can I just turn this on? Can I just put on my mask and boo you away? Maybe you'll be spooked. You're gonna be spooked. Gonna be spooked? Uh oh. Oh no. Hey. Are you there? There you go. Hey, oh, hi. Hello. Hello, chica. Hello, dear old chap. Anyone else want to jump scare me at this point or no? Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Shoot! No! I was just, damn it. I was just getting ready to take off my mask. I offered the invite. You didn't RSVP. Foxy is not easily fooled. <laughs> What do you take me for? Am I a joke to you, says Foxy. All right, let's do it again. We made it far, that was, that was till 4 a.m., no problem. Thank you. I know, I know, I know your lies, phone guy. No, no, no! Scott, 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 how do I beat, how do I beat, how do I beat that dark room? Scott, the dark rooms are really hard and spooky. Scott, are you secretly phone guy? Scott, did you retcon your your lore? Scott, can, can, can we have a serious discussion about the crossover of the lore between the books? <laughs> between the books and the games? Because it's confusing, my friend. Can we talk about what FNAF Four did to this franchise, Scott? Phone guy. Made it really confusing, my friend. It's really hard at this point. All right. Good talk. Good talk, buddy. Glad we had this time. Appreciate it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Quiet. Hello. I hear you, balloon boy. Boop. It is a bit hard to press virtual buttons and, like, assume kind of where their position is in, like, the fictional space around you. Like, oh yes, this is where that button would appropriately be pushed. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Who do we have coming? I hear you. Swiggity swoogity, coming for my booty. And I don't mean treasure. Oh man, if, if you are looking to distract yourself, my friends, 
These are the live streams for you. <laughs> there is a lot going on all the time. Also, just so you guys know, I am trying to be pretty conscientious of the fact that when you're in a VR headset and trying to stream in a VR headset, I recognize that it is very difficult to, uh, like, if I'm turning around a bunch and very quickly, it's gonna become really obnoxious and difficult to watch for you. So, boop, 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 boop. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, look at Balloon Boy run away! Oh my gosh, did you see him? He just scampered off. That was probably the scariest part of this whole game so far. <laughs> really? I thought that was maybe one of the most adorable things I've seen in this game up to this point. Oh, that took me by surprise. Oh, it, it definitely took <laughs> me by surprise. But that was pretty cute, actually. I thought that I thought it was pretty adorable. <laughs> okay, hey, hey, hey. I hear. Okay, hi. Oh, um, Crossroads. I don't know if you already saw. I turned the TV down just a moment ago, so you weren't blown away. But Crossroads says there is a tape behind you here. Is there? Shoot. Okay, I'll have to. I'm gonna take this thing off. No, oh, God! Come on! Why? Why are you taking it off as soon as I? Oh, just, just pile on. Just pile on your jump scares. I'm waiting for you. I know that you're there. I know that your timing is there. I'm making a calculated decision to give you the opportunity to jump scare me. Ah, oh, fart nuggets. This shouldn't even. Man, guys, if you are not a fan of my grandfather's old clock or whatever this song is, then I am sorry, because you are hearing it on repeat over and over and over again at this point. Uh, by now, I'm sure you've noticed the older model sitting in the back room. Uh, those yes, are there... previous locations, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer That's great. Wow, cool story, bro. So thank you. Now. Yep, thank you. No, oh my gosh. Uh, thank you. That was... Oh, poop. Go. I love that Scott still talks in the background, even if you're muting him. <laughs> like, he's like, no, guys, you must hear my brilliant performance as phone guy, no matter what. You will hear it. Come heck or high water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a modern version of paddle ball. Nope. Okay. There it is. So we've learned the hack to get phone guy to be quiet. You mute him, throw the phone three times to the left, and then mute him again. And that is the solution. Mm. Ah, that's, that's some good. Uh, that's some good refreshment there. Diet unbranded soda refreshment right there, friends. So. It seems to be my problem in life is the fact that I have three animatronics that all are very eager to attack me all at the same time, and yet, you know, they're all they're all just lined up waiting to go, but uh, you know, they're they're not all going at the same time when I'm like, hey, I've got my mask on, please everyone, save all your jump scares for the same time. It would be great if they could coordinate their attack just. A, to be a bit more convenient to my schedule, that would be nifty. Boo, 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 boo. You got this. In the words of OMG Pop 101 in the chat, go Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Matt. <laughs> Little did you know that that's exactly how I spell my name. Woo! Run away! Run away, balloon boy! Run away! Okay, I heard. I'm hearing some excitement going on. Okay. There's our good friend, Toy Bonnie. Are those boxes... Huh. Are those boxes similar to the design of the FNAF 4 box? What's seen in shadows must... Uh, or like, the... the what's... It's, it kind of looks like it. So there's Freddy. There's Freddy, hanging out. Okay. Light. 
Okay, flash, 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 flash. He's gone. Okay. Good. Be great if you, uh... So I've decided that as soon as I see one leave, I'm just gonna flip. Is kind of the strategy now. As soon as... I'm, like, not gonna wait around anymore. I'm just gonna let it happen. Come on. Wind that music box. Four o'clock. We're getting close. We're getting close, friends. Uh-huh. I heard that. I heard that. It'd be great if I could, uh... Come on. Wind the music box! Where are you, invisible button? Okay, there he is. Hey! Wow, man, he is so big. Wow, that is terrifying. Okay. And now we should only be needing Chica. It's five. There's Chica. Good. Why did Toy Chica lose her beak? That is the question. Price corner. Okay. Yeah! We got this. I think that's it. I think that's it, friends. And, I mean, this is... The thing is... Okay. There you go. The thing about FNAF 2 is, like, this is kind of the, the wash, rinse, repeat formula for the rest of this game. Unless there's been some change to the fundamental gameplay of Hello. FNAF 2. Hi. Run away, balloon boy! <laughs> go away, my friend! I bet that is a little cute. Right? It's so adorable. It suddenly took balloon boy from one of my least favorite characters to, like, well, maybe he's sea level now. <laughs> he's, he's slightly better at this point. Yes! So like I was saying, at this point, the, like, FNAF 2 is that. Um, like that formula of vent, center, vent, center, vent, center, vent, center. Like that is, as I recall from playing FNAF 2, like that's kind of the go-to pattern for that game. Um, so it's interesting. It, we, you just have to do it faster and more precisely, right? Exotic beverage. <laughs> Smooth and tasty. Is it made out of butter? Is it a buttery beverage? Like a butter beer? It's got sticks of butter on it. It does seem like it has butter on it. And it is 200 calories, which as far as sodas go, that's about normal. Ah. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Great. That was delightful. Cool. So we did that one. Not too bad. Also, I will say... Uh, in the earlier versions of the game, right, uh, when we were playing this last week, I said, uh, as part of the beta test for it, that I was getting a lot of uh, lag as soon as we turned on the cameras. And it seems like the update that they made today, or over the weekend while I was gone, has fixed that. Uh, I sent in a bug report to Scott, because Scott said, like, oh, you can have the early access to the game, but send me bugs. So I sent him the, the info that that was kind of the game-breaking bug. Like, everything else was minor, but that was the thing that was making it really hard. Um, and so it seems like they fixed that. So I'm really glad that in time for the final release, they were able to kind of make that optimization. And now it seems like it's, it's running just fine. Which is cool. Let's do one more of these, and then... Maybe I'll try one of those hard ones again. He did. Not. N nope, multiple times he appeared in that hallway, actually. He was always my favorite. Mine too. He's pretty terrifying. Mm -hmm. But kids these days can't beat their hands for themselves. Whoa, hey. Those darn millennials, am I right? <laughs> Ruining personal space for everyone. Let me guess, they called him the Mangle. Oh, the Mangle. I feel like the name The has been dropped over the years and now he's just Mangle. It's kind of like The Facebook. Right? When Facebook first launched, it was the Facebook. He re Mangle rebranded himself. Well, I'm getting two different things in the chat, and I don't know if either are true, but people are saying when you wear the mask here, a coin appears on the table, 
and you have to be wearing the mask to see the tape. Here, wait, wait until Scott's done talking. Okay, what now? Apparently, if you apparently a coin appears on the table if, when you put your mask on here. Here on this night. But yeah, I'm I'm not sure if it's this night. Oh wait, wait, whoa! You are totally right. Yay! Great. Well, that might have just resulted in my death, but we'll see. But it was worth it for the money, right? <laughs> nope. Oh, oh, we are. Oh, hey, here's here's everyone hanging out. Everyone's like, it's a parade of animatronics. You know, kids pay good money to see that sort of stuff, guys. Hey, you, you're gonna stop at your little spot there. Hey, buddy. Scamper away. Scamper. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Boop, 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 Okay, here's, here's where we got, oh, hey! This is where we gotta get serious now, friends. God, great. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, I got a receipt? Boop, 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 boop. What's this receipt? A receipt suddenly appeared in front of me, randomly. It's very odd. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm very curious about it. Unfortunately, I have this giant bear who wants to take uh, my innards and make them into my outards. So, you know, my innards and turn them into my outards. So that's kind of lame. Kind of reduces my ability to enjoy the environment. Really uh, take in, what is this? This feels like it might have severe lore implications as something that just showed up on my desk randomly in the middle of my night. <laughs> Balloon Boy just randomly dropped it off. He's like, memo for security guard. <laughs> flash, flash, flash. Dear new security guard, please file these receipts. They are tax deductible. I'm not your accountant, animatronics. Don't forget to clock in and out. Right? <laughs> File your W-2s! That's, that's the true terror of Five Nights at Freddy's, let's be honest here. Contract law, contract negotiations, workman's comp. Oh, hey! Shoot. Hey! Oh! Oh! Wow! Wow, Mangle was intense, friends. I don't know, like, if you guys saw it and really appreciated that, but Mangle was moving and, like, reaching to take off my mask. That was awesome and terrifying. Okay, five. Here we go. Come on. Like I said, this is, this is the, the be-all, end-all strategy in this game. So as long, okay, I hear, I hear movement. Who's moving? Who's gonna move? There you go. There we go. Now we'll have to do one more Freddy attack. He's still hanging out, he's still hanging out. Okay, here he comes. Freddy. Great, good. Apparently the tape is behind you if you wear the mask. Oh, really? Yeah. At this point, shoot, should I, oh. Okay, let me flash Foxy. It's five. How confident are we? Moderately confident. Right, I'm gonna take it off. I, no, get off my face. I can't throw it off. Okay, there Woo! it is. Woo! <laughs> More we'll do it. We'll do a like a tape and coin run at some point. <laughs> Cause I feel like it's really hard to collect tapes and coins while you're doing the like routine of the Not Freddy's dying. gameplay. Hey, old school Bonnie. Yeah, look at that. Good detail. Awesome, I repaired you and got up close and personal in all the places I probably shouldn't have gotten up close and personal in. Look, look at how cute you are at my desk. There you go. I don't really have anything to say about you, Bonnie. I've never had strong feelings toward Bonnie regular edition, honestly. Generic Bonnie has always just been like, okay, yeah, you're there. You're you're creepy, I guess. Golden Bonnie is much more exciting. Ah, oh, nightmare on. Do I try that one again? 
Or do I do the plush babies again? Uh, Por que no los dos? Is that Spanish for play both? Yeah. Why not both? That is. Why not the two? Bingo. See, I'm learning. And bingo I was, is old people for yes. I I was more of a uh, I was more of a French man myself in school. So uh. forgive me if my my Spanish is a wee bit. I, what what's slow in Spanish? Oh man, I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. Um, we'll do a, a round or two of this. Wish me luck. I don't have too high of hopes. Um, so we learned that the flashlight flickers when he spawns, right? So that means he. So now he has spawned at this point, and he's not over here. So presumably, he should be over here, but he's not over here either. So that's kind of a bummer. So does that mean he's on the other side? Let's find out. Nope, he is neither left nor right, Lento is which is unfortunate. So let's go back this way. Sam, I this should be him. It is not. That is a bummer. Still a bummer. Fla Where were you? I was waiting for you. I was looking for your beautiful eyes coming down my hallway. <laughs> beautiful eyes. Your come hither stare, Nightmare on. I was waiting for it. Jump scare. Oh, no. I like that the cupcake is like the Reddit 50-50 challenge. 50% of the time he's gonna jump scare ya. 50% of the time he's just gonna be a cupcake. 100% of the time, why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> That's my feeling on the Reddit stuff. <laughs> uh, hmm. Cool. So, we're just gonna flash around here. So flash number one is his tentacles spawning. Right, because now I start hearing them. Flash number two is him spawning there, okay? And he's coming up, so I'm gonna slam it in his face. Slam it in his face. Is he gone? Nope. See, so do I just hold it until, hmm, hmm. Or do I wait? Okay, I've got some things I'm gonna test. We're gonna approach this like a paranormal octopus mime scientist, okay? We're going to go over here. We're gonna wait and watch him as he approaches the door, right? We're not gonna flashlight him in the face. And once he's standing in position, like once he's stationary at the door, we're just gonna shut the door in his face, right? That might be how to deal with this. Maybe. Me, that is, no, okay, he's not there. Still not there, so he's probably coming out the other side. He is there, shut the door. That did not work. Pro tip, that was not correct. <laughs> Don't do what I just did, that was wrong. Uh, so, So do you just hold it until he gives you a sound cue? Because he gave us a sound cue twice, right? But what do you do about his stupid tentacles that keep growing? I don't want this to become like some back room anime. <laughs> no one wants that. Also, Scott, I know you're not watching, but Scott, if you ever come across this clip, Scott, my friend, you already knew what they were doing to Chica. You had you had to give tentacles to Nightmare on, really? You know you know what you're doing to yourself, my friend. Okay, shut the door. I'm a very unknown commenter. You have been noticed. Okay. Okay, he's gone. Maybe. Uh, my flashlight flashed. Okay, shut. Okay, yeah, I'm assuming, no, God! Yeah, thanks, friend, friendo. Like, come on, dude. It's weird, cause on this side, okay, 
this side, well, well, I can't do it anymore. This side, the first time I held the door, I was able to use the door and my flashlight. But this time I was not. So the controls seem to be a bit inconsistent, honestly. Um, just, oh God, where are you? Ah, uh, poop, come on, get out of here. Nope, still, no, he's gonna be on the other side, isn't he? Go, 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 shoot, I'm late, aren't I? Damn it, I'm late. Maybe, I don't know. Nope, come on, what am I supposed to do? I'm, I'm just playing a guessing game here with you, friend. Like, when's it happening? We got it, we're, we know what we're supposed to do. It's just an odd, like it's a random guessing game of knowing how long it's taking for you to move away. Ugh, it's frustrating. I am frustrated. These are the hands of frustration. <laughs> this is the hand of frustration. This is the hand of flashlight. Damn it. I'm so bummed out. Cause this is cool. This is legitimately really creepy and unsettling. Like seeing things crawling out from under, like Oliver will not be allowed to play this game until he is like 20. <laughs> Cause tell you what, man. Okay, shut you. See, that's great. That told me you are gone now. So I appreciate you giving me random creepy lines and, and scares, okay? Like I appreciate you being like, oh, I'm gonna spoop you now, okay. When you don't give me your creepy villain monologue, that's when I get frustrated, friend. So it flashed. So I'm assuming no, do that. Oh, God. Okay. Shut, shut. Ooh, that was tight. Okay, get out of there. Okay. So my flashlight is flat. See, the thing is, sometimes when I'm holding the door, I can't use the flashlight. And so I'm not getting a good indication of whether he's coming or not, right? Or like whether he's disappeared. Ooh. Okay, my flashlight's going. So at this point, he's probably on the other side, right? We can assume that he's on the other side. Or we can assume that he's not on either side and I'm just gonna get trolled at this point. Damn it, oh, he's on the other side, isn't he? Ugh, come on! See, and, and now it's black. Like, I can't use my flashlight. I can't tell if he's there. I can't see anything. See, How? I wonder if that's a glitch. I wonder if this is, because it can't be intentional gameplay. I need to either have a clue as to when he's transitioning sides, which is the light or a sound. It needs to be a visual cue or an audio clue. And it's sometimes him talking, which is fine. And it's sometimes him, the light flashing. But when I can't also use my flashlight when I'm holding the door, I don't know what to do. Damn it. Hmm. Let me do one more time. I'm sorry, this is frustrating. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out though. And I'm curious whatever, like everyone else edits out all the like, let's learn about this and let's figure out all the mechanics and stuff. Um, I, you know, by the nature of doing it live, we cannot unfortunately do a lot of that. So, uh, it's kind of just trial and error and, you know, testing out different things. So here he comes. Here she comes. Shutting the door, shut the door in your face. Have okay. you tried just shining your light on the marionette instead, or on night Marion instead of shutting the door? That's I, a suggestion by Ethan Babbler. That's interesting. I have not see. Maybe maybe I will do that. Then why are they telling us to shut the door? Here, we'll try it. I uh, trust me. I am game for anything that might get us through this. Cause it. To me right now, it feels inconsistent to a level that I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. Okay, but we'll, we'll try it. We'll try flashing the light on Nightmarion, the French puppet who is also an octopus. And also, come on, teleport, thank you. Where are you at? Okay, flash, flash. That, nope, that, nope, that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that just encouraged him. <laughs> that was just like, yep, still coming at you. <laughs> still doing it.
That just made it scarier. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? That just confirmed the thing I was afraid of in the first place, which is, oh, here comes the giant spaghetti monster coming at me. <laughs> here, let me grab... The okay, what if I do this? If I... I'm gonna try something different here, which is I'm going to grab, to have my flashlight turned on and grab the door handle while the flashlight is still turned on, right? So here's my flashlight. Nope, here's my, f nope, that didn't do it. Shoot. This is me obviously flipping my flashlight. The door is shut. Here, I'm gonna open it slightly and it's gonna be, he's gonna be there. Yeah, see, jump scare. See, yeah, so, Hmm. Can you, is there a way you can get inside the closet? Like if the door is open, is that a hint or is it impossible to teleport? No, the there? closet's only his tentacles it seems like. Like I can't teleport to the closet. Uh. I wonder if I don't leave this spot if he'll attack me. Presumably yes, right? What if I'd never start the game? <laughs> Come at me. I'm here, in the middle of my room, you weirdo. Come on. Tentacle me under the bed. It's fine. Ooh, that sounded dirty. I apologize for that one. <laughs> I'm here. Maybe this maybe this is all just a metaphor for what to do when you have nightmares. Oh my gosh, it's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m., friends. <laughs> Some... T oh. And that's his eyeball. That was just poking out right there. Shoot. I thought we had it. I was so sure. I'm like, yes, we've broken the game. Because cause when I had nightmares, I would not leave my bed. I would just hide under my covers more, and it would go away. That was my strategy. I would actually do what I called the cocoon, which was wrapping myself completely in the covers with a small little air hole to breathe out of. And that was supposed to protect me. Well, here you are today, so it must have worked. I mean, right? I survived all the, the creepy mime octopi that were headed my way. You know, here's the thing. Uh, I don't want to do more FNAF 2, but at the same time, it's the one we're making progress on today on the live stream. So why don't we continue on, shall we? And then we'll do... Uh, how are we doing time-wise, by the way? Uh, we probably got about another 20, 30 minutes. Great, cool. So we'll do, let's do another FNAF 2. Hopefully get rid of that. That means we can then do it in hard mode and then maybe hop over and try Plush Baby one or two more times. Uh, hopefully, yep, I, did they suddenly change? Nope, okay, I'm gonna release the trigger, survive. Great, yes, FNAF 2. Who knew that I would be going to FNAF 2 as my like respite from everything else that's going on in this game? Yes, hello, Scott. Hello. Oh man. Scott, what is Junior's in FNAF 6? If you can answer me one question, what is Junior's? It's the one thing that everyone's frustrated about in the lore. Who is Orange Guy? Lies. Stop it with your fake news, Scott Cawthon. I'm done. I'm done with your fakery. Man, Foxy disappears faster than Batman when you flash him a couple times. Foxy is Batman. <laughs> From the channel that brought you Sans's Ness comes the latest in a series of quality YouTube videos. Foxy is Batman. Finally. It's the theory you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Run away, little man! Great, thanks. Appreciate your contribution to this series, balloon boy. Up, oh, here he comes, the man of the hour. It, it's funny, because we were given, we were given Fred, come on, we were given Freddy a hard time earlier. The funny thing about it is, like, we could, hey. Oh shoot, Fox is gonna jump scare me, I think. Unfortunately, just be warned, guys. I don't think I flashed him fast enough because I couldn't find my finger on the trigger. 
that's the hardest part of this game, honestly, is just finding the right triggers in the virtual space. Um, but what I was about to say is like, Toy Fr oh, hello. Toy Freddy is getting more action in this game. Oh, hey, there's Mangle. Nope, that's Mangle. Mm. Hey, where I didn't know that you were there, but that's cool. Cool story, bro. Hey, there's, okay, hey. Let's do this again. Huh. Great. Nope. Hey, no! Get off! Shoot. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, wrong. Shoot, 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 shoot. Flash, flash, flash. Get out of there. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Charge. 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 Charge! Find the... Find the button! For this weird, random ability to remotely wind things. <laughs> Like the most useless Bluetooth ability known to mankind. What the heck? Okay, here he comes. Oh, there's a, uh, there's the old Mangle again. The sorry, the Mangle, the animatronic formerly known as the Mangle. Oh, that's a uh, balloon. No. Oh my gosh! Come on! Boop 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 boop. Oh, okay. Hi. Yes. Disappear. Thank you. Flash, 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 there we go. Huh. It's like the Ohio State University. I always give people a hard time about that one. It's not Ohio State University, it's THE Ohio State University. Hi. Hey, Bloom Boy. Boop. My favorite, my favorite character meant to deliver me balloons. Yay. My favorite character who I really struggle with the lore around, honestly. There's one character, like, the book series tries to kind of find a way to make him make sense, uh, but from a standpoint in the games, he's just kind of just kind of there. Oh hey, man, Mangle is rocking out today. Okay, hey, wow, there's a lot of excitement going on. I think there's a foxy jump scare headed our way. Honestly, friends. Because I, I heard the foxy like, oh, he's in the hallway. No, maybe not. Oh, there's there's one. Oh, hey! Oh, and there's Ma oh, oh, <laughs> Mangle is so cool! I'm sorry, Mangle is terrifying, but it's such a cool design. I gotta say, man. They took... Like, you could tell that uh, Steel Wool Studios, the guys who, who were working on this game, really liked uh, Mangle, because they spent a good amount of time on that animation there. There's Swiggity Smoogity, there you go. <laughs> good thing that my old grandfather's clock is not a copywritten song, man, because otherwise every FNAF video in existence would be getting copyright claimed by like, some old-timey western couple being like, yeah, everyone's playing our old folk song. <laughs> We're raking in the dough from this Five Nights at Frizzies thing that's going on the YouTubes. Paying, uh, paying uh, the mortgage on our plantation these days. Yay! What is this? This is the Freddy Fudge Bar. Oh, uh, the, ori the original. No, except no substitutes, my friends. The Freddy Fudge Bar. The Candy Man can. It's the, uh, the novelty candy that you didn't know you needed. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Let's do hard mode. Let's do hard mode on FNAF 2. Hopefully that will finish FNAF 2. And then, uh, or I can go and like maybe pick up whatever secret things are lingering around in it, but uh, then we're we're good to go. That's another whole category done. So even though we didn't make a whole lot of progress in some of the other categories, at least we were able to finish a whole nother uh, round of them, which would be great. That would be exciting. Uh, but before we do, oh man, rave mode. Sorry, I'm just gonna appreciate this for a second because I think it's fun. Oh, look at this. It's rave mode, Freddy. So you said there's a tape? Maybe? Maybe supposedly behind you. Maybe I got the tape already, guys, in a, in a previous run. 
because uh, so here's the coin which we got yeah maybe maybe I had already gotten it uh, well then oh man wow I timed that out surprisingly well <laughs> Come on. Oh, see, this is this is the thing that's ultimately going to result in my downfall in this. Oh my gosh, come on. Where is the button? There we go. Like, as precision becomes more important. Hey. Okay. As precision becomes more and more important, finding and hitting this button accurately is challenging. So, hey, there you go. There we go, there we go. Right, did we get a tape in this one? I'm trying to remember from the earlier. There you go, flash, 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 there you go. Rind, there's Chica. Why did the toy Chica lose her beak? The classic mystery, oh, here he comes. Hey, buddy. Who's a big boy? Who's a big Freddy? You're a big Freddy. Yeah. But like I was saying earlier, Toy Freddy even gets more love in this game than original Freddy. Hey. Woo! Hey. Great. We should be seeing Chica fairly soon. There we go. We're all wound up. Hey, Foxy. Goodbye to you. Chica, losing your beak. Maybe because you were originally meant to be a toy. It's unclear. There we go. Wind up our little clock. Here comes that guy over in the vents. We're, everyone's just eager to hang out in my little uh, party room over here because I have the lights on and it's super cool. Hey, there you go. Hi. Hi and bye. Good, good visit. Come back and see me again sometime. Maybe in like three hours. That'd be great. That's when I'm off duty. Be, be awesome. This lighting scheme actually really reminds me of, uh, hey, this lighting scheme really reminds me of, um, hey, Foxy, there you go. Uh, my, my dorm at the time uh, when I was an RA, every Friday night I would do this thing called uh, La Crevasse, where I would, whoop, where I would do theatrical gels over the lights in the hallway and make it into like a fun little like jazz club, not really jazz club, but like a fun little like hangout for people who didn't want to go to the other campus. What? Oh, uh, oh, excuse me, what? You were, you were in the hallway. You were, you were moving your little cottontail behind over into the side room. You're going over to the kitchen. Get yourself a slice, a hot steamy slice. Move your little cocktail butt. Swiggity swiggity, I was watching that booty go into the other room and then into the vents. I think, I think I got gypped on that one. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp womp. FNAF 2's hard mode's like, nah, he's too close to beating it. Let's give him another chance. You know what song he really wants to listen to more of in, in this playthrough today? Old Grandfather's Clock. Jump scare. There it is. <laughs> because why not restart? Do you? Okay. We'll Yay, just, uh, more let's... creepy calliope music. Uh, excuse me, it's not a calliope, it's well, a music box? Sorry. Same, same, same difference. Is it though? Is it the same thing, Chris? Learn your calliopes from your music boxes. <laughs> it's a glockenspiel, okay? <laughs> right? Today's live stream brought to you by Warner Chapel, the owners behind this. Oh, hey, there we go. The owner is behind my grandfather's old clock. <laughs> right? I wish the music box had like more than one song. 
be great. They're like Yankee Doodle Dandy. I think Yankee Doodle Dandy is in the public domain at this point. Yeah. Just imagine, you know, instead of winding up the music box and hearing this song over and over again, it was like, Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony. Ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ba. At least give me some variety, man. Play me like a good top 40 hit something. 24 karat magic, puppet. Okay, there's there's my good friend. Uh, oh, hey. Nope, get off of my face. Foxy. There's Chica. There's the butt. There, there's the button. There's the button. Button, button, who's got the button? Not my virtual hands, apparently. Okay, oop. I feel like this rave lighting really compliments your face. Okay. No, no, stop. I just can't get enough of this sweet jam. It is such a bop. Come on, I'm, I'm so paranoid of Bonnie just like cheating me out of a win. Woo! The, the benefit of having two hands does make a big difference in this game. I gotta say, like, the ability to not just check cameras, but also wind things at the same time does make a very positive difference in my life when playing FNAF 2. Freddy just can't get enough of the sight of my face over here, so he is back for more. Come on, buddy. I got more where that came from. Hot stuff. Okay, great. I do wish there was a little bit more to do with the fan. Like, stick your, vir stick your virtual finger in and chop it off. <laughs> because that would just be very satisfying for me as a longtime fan stick. Okay. okay, yep, I'd love to, love to spook, spook that one away. Get out of here, Mangle. Get out of here, Mangle. Oh, hey, <laughs> Freddy trying to creep in on me. I saw you. I saw your slow little lumber. My little lumberjack. Oh, there's uh, there's our good friend, uh, Cheats McGee over there. There, get in, get, yeah, there you go. Get into, get into, yep, there, nope. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta put on my radio station again. All old-timey grandfather clock tunes all the time. Where's the... Oh, damn it. Go. Okay. Oh, there's Chica. All right. Hi. Are we also going to have... Nope, get back on my face. There we go. Good. Okay, we really got to ride this in hardcore now. There we go, good, good! Woo, that was a tight one. That was tight, but we got through it. Two hours left, friends. Then we never have to listen to this damn song again. <laughs> except for, uh, except for, actually, I don't know. When would, I, when would we have to hear it again? Oh, during ha, Night Marion, of course. How could I forget the one that keeps jump scaring me? Like, this is just the theme of today, isn't it? I am so, I apologize to headphone users and non, like anyone who has like hearing at this point in life. Because you don't anymore. Right, at this point you'll wish you didn't almost. Here we go, good. There, there, that should be it. That should be it, friends. I'm not gonna get cocky, because you know how these games work. <laughs> you let your guard down for a second and Yes! FNAF 2 complete! X! Yes! Oh, that's great. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Yes! Oh, oh that's fun. A very, my very own piece of birthday cake. It's a lore clue. It says, Happy birthday, Jeremy! I wonder what it says. 
There's no way to tell. Now we just gotta unlock all the other bits of cake, don't we? I wonder if you can unlock the whole cake at price counter. Hmm, hmm, thoughts are occurring in my head. <laughs> Here, uh, I'm gonna hop over to price counter and then we're gonna try plush babies one or two more times and then that's uh, probably a good chance to wrap it up. Uh, Have you gotten the uh, tape by the gumball machines? Over yeah, uh, I, yes, that was the first tape that I, or nice. th second or third tape that I got. Because I'm like, oh, I want a gumball. And then I grabbed it and it was like, oh, there was a hidden tape back there. Uh, interesting. So, huh, special. So you got the cockroaches from Nightmare Chica. Cup. I don't remember unlocking a cup. It's also interesting. So these are apparently locked behind the number of coins you have. And I got the eight ball just for reasons. Huh, interesting. Does that mean that I can do something with them and it's gonna do something? I wonder, I bet we're gonna, you know that we're gonna just dedicate an egregious amount of time wasting our life, throwing every object at every other object. <laughs> That TV is suspicious to me. I feel like there's gonna be something. No, oh, that didn't work. I feel like there's gonna be something with the TV at some point. I wonder if, so does this give me all the exotic butters or just one butter? Just one butter. Ah, greasing up my counter. Uh, uh, nope. What if I throw the eight ball at it? I'm just curious. There's only three bobbleheads, that's weird. Eight ball. Cup? So the basketball we use to get rid of that over there. Eight ball, why would we need an eight ball? Smash! <laughs> Matt Pat, smash! Countertop. Oh. Seth Hoskins says you can take items from the prize counter over to the game select, and you may be able to hit our secret bunny from, from the game select area. If you wanted to try. I also still think it's weird that... Chucking things. Yeah, we could try chucking out of things. I also still think it's weird that that one Freddy is so... is so green. Here. All right. Grab this. Return. Well, he's not there. Uh. I do have this eight ball. You know, it's interesting. I wonder... If you're able to like phase your way, or if at some point, like there's a way to like, cause that looks like it should be, oh no, that's an ATM, not an arcade machine. Huh. That's an art, so that's an ATM, and that is, looks like kind of a change machine to make quarters. I wonder if there's anything you can do with some of those. No, it just kind of disappeared, okay. Huh. Yeah, we'll have to play around. Also, it's weird that there, there's a thing that you unlock with 10 coins, and I have 10 coins, and it has unlocked it. Odd. Okay. Uh, so we still got a bunch with FNAF 1, FNAF 3, uh, Vent Repair, and Night Terrors. But everything else, like, we're making good progress again. We got through a whole section. Um, I'm going to try Dark Room one or two more times here. Wish me luck. Um, and I, I, maybe I'll watch some playthroughs of what people did with Nightmare on to see what they did. Uh, cause for the life of me, I can't quite seem to figure out either what's going wrong. Like, should I have access to my flashlight while I'm holding the door or what? Or should I be hearing things? That's just what's frustrating to me at this point. Okay, here we go. So, you think they might be like right above my head? Like there-ish? Yeah, they're saying there's some sort of vent in the ceiling or something. And that's where they might be coming in from? Yeah. All right. I mean, hey, guess what? Right now, I am not doing a good job of uh, finding them. So, if, or th there's like one spot I'm very clearly missing consistently. So if that's where it is, I hear a vent. Okay. Uh... Well. No, I didn't. Where are you? <laughs> I, I found your vent. I found. Uh, now you're in a. I found your vent. <laughs> you're, you're. Plush baby is also Batman. Foxy is Batman and also plush baby.
combined, they are two creatures stacked on top of each other to make one real-sized Batman. <laughs> I also like that Balloon Boy has one eye that's glow-in-the-dark and the other eye that is not. Just odd. Okay, I saw... Okay, there's, there's you. You know, it's unfortunate. I keep... I keep wanting stuff like, you know, the sound effects to actually help guide... Oh, hey. Guide my ability to find creatures in this thing. And I'll see the objects moving. But rarely does it result in me... Okay. Okay, so that was that. Right? So, okay. Two. No! Where? Where? Good, okay. Great, I'll take that. Sure. Get out of here. Man, her creepy little walk, though. Right? Dat walk, though. Sissy those hips. <laughs> Sissy that walk. <laughs> okay, where are you? Oh, damn, I'm getting... There. Got him. Oh, hey. Great. Good. Get out of here. Nope. Oh, hey. No, I did not. I did not. Where are you? Where are you? There. Good. You were, you were not there literally a second ago. How could I forget about you when you're just showing up randomly, like, for a second at a time? Okay. Three. Three o'clock. We're never making it. <laughs> it is only three o'clock. Great. There's one. God. There's so many. There. There's one. Holy four. There's one. God. Oh, please, please charge my, I know, my, my flashlight is actually... Oh, to your left. Where? Oh, good. There's one. Five! Come on! No, 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 wait, there. There. Want to see the scooping? No, where are you? Where are you? No! 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 Oh, no! We were so close! Oh. oh no! Where was she? Shoot! Oh! We can't end it on that. We were so close. Yeah, you gotta try it. We gotta do one more. We're, we're right there. We are on the cusp. We are on the cu We are on the precipice. The precipice of defeating a, a small horde of plush creatures possessed by a devil child. Like, <laughs> you don't get that opportunity many times in life. Precipice. Want to see the scooping room? No, okay, no. Get out of here. <laughs> there. So the other thing I'm learning is if you're stationary with kind of your flashes, before, one of the big problems I was having was them fading away or disappearing as I scanned over them and then like me coming back to them and them being gone, right? So now with the flashes, it seems to not happen nearly as, oh hey, it seems to not happen nearly as frequently as it was before is good. Okay. I like that my flashing gets significantly faster. You won't die. Nope, there. Once I start getting paranoid. Whoa! I did not expect that one. Shoot! Oh, Ooh. it is this is hard. Man, you just need to like have that like perfect run. One last one, 
And then that's probably where we have to call it qu quits, right? Yeah. That, that, that sounds about, about right. It. I figured. Whoo, boy. This is tough. This is tough. <laughs> Makes you long for the easy days of FNAFs 1 through 3, huh? The games have gotten progressively harder. It is interesting. Like, hey, stop. Just stop. <laughs> Deep manly voice. Ha oh. ha Oh, damn it. I'm already. Oh, damn it. Where are you? Oh, jeez. There you are. That's, we're already off to a bad start. Sorry, guys. This is not the run. This ain't it, Chief. Hey, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, there you go. Good. There you go. The blue one's fast. She's fast. She's like, I'm, I'm the fast one. I'm not into stealth. I'm just going to charge right at you. Come on. We got this. We got this, guys. This is it. Let's end. Oh, hey. Not in the slightest. Nope. Ah, shoot. Where are you? Where are you? No. Where, where was? Man, I checked all the usual locations. And I don't think they hide in the, like, just in the vent. I think it, that's a clue for when they drop down. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. So we made decent progress. We, yeah. you know, we beat the one night terror that was giving us a hard time last week um, by having a stare down with good old fun time Freddy. Uh, we learned that Nightmare on, we just got to figure out if, if it's just a glitch in the game or if I'm just completely missing the boat on what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, we got through all of FNAF 2, though, including the hard, hard rave mode. This is my rave hand. Can you tell? This is me. Imagine glow sticks here in my hands right now. Oh, wow. You're so skilled. Right, isn't it great? Aren't these great rave hands, Chris? Were you on Color Guard? Can't, no, I was not on Color Guard. <laughs> uh, it was show choir. Uh, I just go to the club all the time. Uh. Duh. Uh, yeah, rave it out. Um, so made progress there. Uh, got rid of all FNAF 2, so that's one full category done. Uh, I'll look into Nightmare on between uh, today and the next live stream to see what can be done. Uh, and plush, uh, plush, the plush traps or the plush babies, I, I guess I'll look to see if there are any other like spots that I'm missing. But I feel like I'm hitting kind of the key quadrants. Um, so anyway, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I will be back Thursday, I think, uh, is, is the plan. Um... I believe so. We're, we're not, we may not stream tomorrow. Maybe we'll see. The, Keep plan, the plan is Thursday, but we could always stream tomorrow. We might stream tomorrow. You know, let me see how scripts go, honestly. So keep an eye out. Uh, if you haven't, ring the bell. Do me a favor, ring the bell, uh, so that way you're notified of whenever live streams are going to happen. Uh, so that way you can join me as we piece together the lore and get through all of the stuff that is to get through in this game. Because uh, it's really fun. It's, and it's a cool, like, greatest hits compilation of all the past FNAF games, and then some cool additional Easter eggs, and some really interesting lore bits that I'm really curious where it's going to. Um, I will go back in and also check to see if there were anything in FNAF 2 that we missed, like uh, like if we should have been finding coins or cassette tapes. Um, yeah, and there you go, guys. So that's it for today. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. If not, at the very least, we'll see you on Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me while I'm going up against all the, the creepy mime octopi, sorry, octopodes out there. And uh, I'll see you later this week. All right? So in the meantime, remember, that is just a stream. A live stream. Chris, let's say goodbye in the chat. Jake Halik says, bye. Strawberry Stick says, goog, bye. Goog, goog indeed. <laughs> goog. And then It's Pogi says, brah, I'm late. It's OK. You Bruh. can rewatch the whole thing. Oh, it's true. Right it's, now. It's available right now. Rewind it. Starting now. <laughs>